It can be very distracting when a film constantly flashes back from the present to various points in the past. It can be clunky, but for Bullet Train in 2022, it works perfectly, both to bring us all of the action characters in the sequence on the Bullet Train and re-examining how they got there, but also because it blends seamlessly with the spiritual theme of the movie about fate and how all these details in cosmic existence come into one fruition. I don't know if you'd call it a neo-feminist thing, but in recent years, Hollywood has been casting women in roles that are unattractive on purpose, whether they can act or not. In Bullet Train, Joey Kane delivers a very solid performance in the role, but then they cover her with so much makeup to try to make her look pretty. At some points, it feels like CGI. Come on, she delivered well in the role. You didn't have to do that. What was the point? Honestly, there were times where I thought the movie was going to shift gears and go totally woke, but it really never did. Yeah, there's that little bit of girl power thing with a couple of women. They intentionally have the twins or different races, Tangerine and Lemon. I laugh because what a comedic duo they are, but really the story ends up being about none of that woke garbage. It brings in all sorts of different human beings, but it's about their relationships, their emotional growth, their development, the spiritual theme, and the final outcome. I was really surprised at how good this movie was and how much I enjoyed it and how well structured and put together it is. Even what feels like almost a post-credit scene that gives you the ending, really, really cool.